Welcome to another episode of Grilled with Nick Mangold, presented by FanDuel. Today, I have a new addition to our beloved New York Jets, Pat Elfline. Pat, how are we doing, buddy? Oh, I'm doing great. Happy to be here. How are you doing? I'm doing very well. Thank you for joining me, taking time out of your Tuesday, which I know is sacred. Uh, I've been there, um, so I will try to keep this sweet. But here's what I'm doing for you, because you're an Ohio boy, which... I'm gonna, yep. Yeah, that's near and dear to my heart. Um, you know, growing up in Dayton, you grew up in Central Ohio. Uh, you know, we're basically brothers, I think, right? I'd, I'd say so. We have a, a mixture of, of hometown favorites. Um, I'm going to do some uh, Green Giant Tater, Cauliflower Tater Tots uh, four way for Skyline. All right, a little Skyline chili, some onions, the cheese. Yeah, we're going to do that up big. And then in Columbus, uh, the headquarters of White Castle. Um, so I'm making some elevated White Castle burgers, trying it on the grill. We're steam grilling them. It's going to be a lot of fun. Um, so I, hopefully you enjoy this journey. And I hate, 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 hate with the most bottom of my heart that we can't enjoy this together. Maybe next year, fingers crossed. So uh, to kick this off, um, give me a little bit of what it was like growing up um, in Ohio. Uh, you know, I assume you were athletic as a child, but you know, maybe you played chess every day and got into athletics in high school. Uh, tell me a little bit about that while I get these burgers on the grill. Yeah, so I uh, grew up in Central Ohio, Columbus, Ohio. Um, you know, got, I'm the youngest of four, so I had some older brothers who kind of kept me in check growing up. Um, my dad was a a brick mason and a, uh, he he's a uh, does concrete so grew up doing that uh, working with him my brothers and and obviously it was a dream come true once I had a chance to go to Ohio State and play there and obviously was watching you growing up the whole time big fan of yours and followed your career and, and obviously all the legends that you got to play with as well um, so yeah it was it was obvious you can write a better story for me honestly it was it was really cool experience yeah, um, you know, it, it's interesting hearing about, um, you know, because I grew up watching guys at Ohio State, and I had the same thing. Uh, mine, you know, I had Andy Katzenmoyer, Orlando Pace, Eddie George. I mean, it was it was something that was uh, cool for me. What was your experience going through, like, high school um, in the recruiting process? Because for me, I only got offered by two places. I had Notre Dame and Ohio, Ohio State. Those were my two offers. Did you have a bunch of team, a bunch of uh, universities knocking, or was it always just kind of a done deal? Listen, I'm going to Ohio State. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Yeah, so it, it actually didn't really work work out like that for me. Um, so before I had the Ohio State offer, which was my last my last offer, I was mainly getting recruited by some MAC schools: Bowling Green, Toledo, Ohio University, and then. Um, some bigger schools started trickling in some like some big 10 schools. I had Purdue, I had Northwestern. Um, and then there was, I, I really liked Cincinnati, the University of Cincinnati, it was close to home. They were they were playing well at the time. And I was like, this, this could be a good fit for me. What happened for me at Ohio State was, um, unfortunately, Jim Trestle was, was no longer the coach and Luke Fickle uh, took over as the interim head coach. Uh, he saw my film, liked me, and he ended up offering me a scholarship. And then uh, after that, they played out that season, and Urban ended up getting the job. So I played for Urban for five years and with Fickle on staff still, so, but Fickle was the one who recruited me and, and found me. And um, So, yeah, that's kind of how that story worked. <laughs> yeah, it, it's funny. Uh, Luke was our defensive line coach uh, when I was there, um, and it's, it's been awesome to watch his rise through the ranks, uh, you know, being the interim head coach and now the uh, head coach of Cincinnati. It, it's cool to see because he's one of the great people in the world. I mean, there's there's a handful of people that you meet and uh, that are, are, you know, just the best people. And Luke's one of them. So uh, it's pretty cool that you got recruited by him. Um, and I think he made the right choice. Uh, you know, you had a stellar career for Ohio State. Uh, which is exciting, which included a Remington trophy. Um, tell me a little bit about that because, you know, some of us didn't win them. Um, we got close. I think I was maybe second. Uh, but, you know, was there a big uh, celebration? Was there a dinner? Tell me, give me a little bit of the Remington trophy experience um, that you got to go through. 
yeah, still still blows my mind how how you didn't win that. Uh, that <laughs> might be a conversation for another time. Uh, but um, it happens. Yeah, but yeah, it was it was it was really incredible. Uh, my my fifth year in college, so I was I played right guard for four years, and then my fifth year I wanted to switch over to gain some versatility. So um, I just had a great line around me helping me out, and had a good year. Ended up winning that trophy, and it was a really cool celebration. And uh, what that trophy stands for, and 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 Dave Remington and all the guys up in Nebraska, they really do a, a great job uh, celebrating that and putting on a. You know, a black tie event and it's just it's a really cool fraternity to be a part of and just you know it's you're in that forever so i know they always invite the past winners back so hopefully uh one of these years i'll get back up there and, and celebrate the the future winners and uh just you know be a part of that but it was it was awesome experience for sure um, so you came into the New York Jets, what is November 12th? That sounds about right. That sounds about right. Look at me doing my homework. I'm a smart guy. Tell me, how has your experience been here in, in Jersey? Um, because, you know, let's not forget that the Jets are, are home in Florham Park, New Jersey. How has that been for you, um, you know, getting acclimated while being in a pandemic? Yeah, it's, it's definitely different uh, being in the pandemic, but I've been getting acclimated very well. The guys on the team have been have been incredible and very welcoming to me, which and my fiance as well, which has been really nice. And um, I, there's so many more food options here in Jersey than than where I've been in the past, and that's that's really fun. You know, each night you're like, all right, I'm gonna try this one, or I'm gonna go. You know, Tuesdays I like to go try different different food spots. Um, but yeah, the, my fiance and I we we really like deli sandwiches, so we're in the, the right spot for that. And it's it's oh. been fun so far. Definitely. Now, are we talking deli as in breakfast sandwiches or deli as in lunch sandwiches? Ooh, both. I'll get one of each. So I have now plated the uh, four-way um, green giant tot skyline chili extravaganza. I got my, um, you know, elevated White Castle. I'm going to give you a little sneak peek here. So there you go. What do you think? That looks incredible. Right? Yeah. That's a nice little meal there. That was impressive you get... how you just did that. Listen, I really appreciate you taking time to chat with me. Um, taking time out of your Tuesday. I know uh, it's valuable time. So thank you very much. I wish you uh, the best of luck and the best of health. Um, good luck with the wedding, you know, getting married in, in this time. You know, it, I'm still waiting on my invite. I don't remember seeing it come through, but we'll talk about that later. Um, and so really, I really appreciate you coming on Grilled uh, with Nick Mangold presented by FanDuel. Thank you so much for taking the time, Pat. Thanks, Nick, for having me on and uh, look forward to our, our future. It'll be, it'll be fun hanging out.